Welcome on our road to 2000. And we play against Flexus 11. And we turn into... Well, let's, let's see what we get. I think this will likely be a Nimzo Indian. Where the bishop ends up here. And we have a nice system against this. So I'll try to explain a bit more about the system. And this is the same-ish variation of the Nimzo Indian defense with the early f3. And the goal behind this is to push the e4 pawn as soon as possible. And I don't really bother about the trade of the knight here. There's multiple options black can make. Castling, for example. d5 is a move. c5 is a move, but black really wants to break in the center at some point. Uh, I've also seen moves where, for example, at some point I play a3 and the bishop gets retreated. But, you know, in these kind of positions I really get a very nice center and yes i open up this diagonal here but as the block as the knight blocks the queen from going here so far it's not an issue yet and you know if you were to move the knight here for example uh, let's then i always have a move like this to get my knight in between but uh, my opponent takes the pawn the uh, knight already which is a bit early there was no really a need for that and well that's basically what i wanted because now i think i get a very nice position in the center of the board i already have a lot of space and you want to have your pawns in the center now i need to develop my pieces then something like this is a system i'm looking for and just play the position while my opponent really needs needs to look for ways on how to develop and one of these ways could be here here and maybe target this pawn that's one of the setups he could play for i don't think that e6 was a move as it was a bit slow either don't just don't play it or play for e5 at some point here we just develop but this is a clear plan for him to go after this pawn but i have a very straightforward idea to block that to so basically just go here and then castle later i think what he also could play for is uh, c5 e5 at some point and then we get a position like this so castle here 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 then i'm still in time so let's just castle here he could now go here but then i will simply go here and if the knight goes here i could also go for a sacrifice maybe i will do that with the move f4 takes 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 then f5 could also already be interesting but i could also go for a setup with queen e2 to just protect this pawn after i move my knight to g3 but this plan is not very straightforward and yeah i expected a bit that it's not easy to find but d5 also feels interesting but i think if i take takes takes take take then i get a lot of room here so i think that looks very promising for me what if i play a move like this um and just sort of takes drop back I don't really like this at some point c5 will come in so I think I should just take here and yes he will win my bishop but I get a lot of space here for my pieces on the king side of the board because well probably he will take takes back takes here and the knight maybe already has to go back he will go for c5 but this pawn is quite well protected I will set up my pieces something like this. Takes back. I could also consider. So, okay. You know, we finished the development. We are in the middle game. I centralized my queen. My knight is positioned well, but my bishop is not doing much yet. So I have two candidate moves I think are interesting. This move, threatening to go here. So, and he cannot really get rid of the pin, because then this move forks the queen and the knight. And 
Another move is to go here right away. But let's first continue this one. So I think after this move, because I'm threatening to go here, right? So I think after this move, he already should go h6. And I go back, e5, here. It lo looks really good that his pawns are already stretched. Another op other option is to go here right away. Then his knight could go e either here, but I think this immediately wins the knight. Or the knight goes here. And then maybe it's in time for an f6 break. So I think bishop to g5 gives him the least options. And basically pushes him to start pushing the pawns. And that's what I like to do. So let's go here. I think that's a big th threat. Yeah, he has to do that. So let's go here. I think g5 is now the only option. Um, or g5 later, but okay. Good. Let's set up the bishop on this beautiful square. You might want to go here. That is true. Maybe I should have gone here then instead. Because mm, I want to keep my bishop. Maybe it was a bit too fast. But anyway, I want to go for this and this. Anyway. I uh, think this is a good move. Then yes, he will take my bishop. But then his knight is super strong. And this pawn will come forward sooner or later. I could even consider taking back like this. And then maybe this one, uh, this file opens up. Um, another move would be to go here. Which is an option as well. Maybe I should have gone back all the way here and... Maybe, yeah, bishop g3 was a bit too fast. I could still go for this move actually. This has set up some pressure over here. But maybe that's a bit too slow. I think I will go for this move. Um, if takes, takes. I think that's fine. Let's go for this. And I will push f4, f4 sooner or later. And maybe at some point I can double up, bring the rooks into the game. By the way, this pawn is maybe it's not defended well. Maybe I can look for double attacks at some point when pieces start moving. At least something I have to keep in mind while at, some, at this point c6 is an option, right? But you know, the knight will move, the rook will move. Yeah, he goes for the counter attack, which is very smart. Which is always a good thing to do when you're... Uh, opponent has a great position. Try to attack the weaknesses and yeah, I think this would be a good trade for him. But I think I will just continue moving my pawns up the board. And I could even consider that if he takes here that I will take back like this. Opening up the position here. But, you know, as I try to get out here this rook might be very well positioned on the f-file and he could try to break with a move like f6 at some point. So let's see what my opponent does. Yeah, I feel that bishop e1 would have been better earlier on as he could still opt for position like... Uh, okay, he takes there first. So if the, I take, he will probably take back with the queen. And then, you know, if I have bishop d2, then that would have been strong. But I don't have that. Um, well, this would be the easy and most straightforward and simple way to trade. But I was actually thinking, is this an option as well? Bring my knight into the game. Um, honestly, I'm not the biggest fan. I could also even take back with the queen. And... Yeah, but let's just take back with the pawn. Keeping the pawns protected. protected. I think that's uh, the best option for now. And I would love to push this pawn as well. This is still 
a consideration. I think I was too early with everything here. So let's see what my opponent has in store. And this knight is out of the game, right? Maybe he wants to go here and here. Hmm, let's see. So, well, I think I'm better, definitely better here, as his king position is not too strong. My king is simply, uh, well, better protected. His knight is still underdeveloped and his rook is not in the game yet. But the same is true for my rook. So, yeah, in that sense, we have both some pluses and minuses, but yeah, uh, I have the better center as well. And my piece is already developed, so I definitely feel I have a very fair advantage here. But let's see what my opponent does. I think if takes, takes. And if I get a 4 in, a 5 in, then I'm very happy. Get the rooks behind it. And maybe I can even get my knight then here. That would be the dream. So maybe he shouldn't take, but then again, maybe this might be a very interesting maneuver for me. But I think first I'll just simply push this pawn up the board. Because then it's very hard for him to break, because then I will go e6. So maybe um, f6. Oh no, f6 doesn't work here, right? Because then I have a check. Then the knight drops back. And then at least it gets complicated. This pawn at least already hangs. So f6 is not an option here. Difficult position for my opponent. Because I think just developing is also just a bit slow. And you cannot really prevent a 5 here. Maybe a 5 himself would be a good move. Yeah, that might be the best move in the position. Because then I can go here. And if I take on passant, then he can take back with the queen. And... Well, the position for sure opens up. Check. Not very comfortable for my opponent. Okay, he goes there. Yeah, no, I think this is a very straightforward move to make and I maybe at some point here and put some more pressure on my opponent's position it's also his knight is out of the game right so now my pawn is here if he allows me to go here then I'm very happy and taking is also not an option because my knight will get here and then will become very strong and at some point I will you know Get these pawns to move. Maybe he should go for this, but then I have a pass pawn. A very strong passer. And and I was saying this pawn is weak, right? So already moves like this are now also a possibility. So bishop e1, I think, is very a good move. Setting up this trick. Getting my bishop in the game here. Maybe here. And yeah, I think I'm positioned very well here for whatever my opponent is up to. Uh, this, this, even the bishop will go here at some point. Maybe I should just go for the open file. I think he should try to do that. I think I should try to do something like that. <laughs> so I was thinking, so let's say if he goes here, and if I drop back then, here, here, this might be a good move for him. Takes, 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 takes. Yeah, so I think this prevents bishop e1 for now. So, let's see, I could also just go here. Maybe this is now the better move. Hmm. 
Yeah, so I'm thinking this, this. Because I don't think this really works because of this move. So I take... Then my rook hangs here. Because the bishop blocks the defense. Though I might take here. And... That might be sufficient compensation. And I don't want him to trade queens, right? So... Because if he's possible, and uh, if he can enter here, that's not what I want. Maybe I should go here first. Wait, so here, here. I don't want this because of the queen trade. Here, 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 here. Takes, takes, takes. Takes. And the rook gets in. Hmm. Not too good for me. I could also go here. Attacking both the pawn and knight. And then I force him to trade. And then my rook or my uh, knight gets active. Or I could play this move. This, then I have this. But what about this move now? Well, maybe then I'll simply win a pawn here. Yeah, I think that's that's a good. Let's go here, here. Maybe this at some point. Because this is not really possible now because of this. He could go here though. But as soon as I prevent him from getting any entry squares. Then it's fine. Let's see if I can do that. Three minutes on the clock. Three and a half. He has a bit more than two minutes. Maybe this was a bit too slow. Yeah, so he tries to double up his pieces. But now I think this is already a move. This. What about this? Could go here. Hmm, but then his queen enters the position. Oh no, this doesn't work, right? Because then I can take, so... I think this is simply a very good move to make. Two part, like not pieces, because this is a pawn, but it's a piece. And a pawn. And defend it. And loose pieces and loose pawns also drop off. I already was talking about this pawn some moves ago. And yeah, now it's... Uh, freed up. So probably has to go back now. Still attacking this pawn. Because if takes, well he still, he cannot really take here. Because then I will take the rook. But after this, uh, this This one is an... I can go here. Okay, that works. And this pawn is defended. Yeah. Okay. Let's go here. Free pawn. This is not really a move I can simply take. There's no check because I can take him. Taking the rook. And if he defends it, then... Well, let's see what I will do then. This pawn is now under attack. I don't really want him to go here. Ah, he goes for the queen trade. I'm happy to see that. To be honest. I think this was a better move for him. So, I could go for the queen trade, but I think I won't. Let's keep the queens on the board. As my position is 
very good here. And with this move, I protect the pawn. I defend this square. And his knight is out of the game. His queen is not doing anything at the moment. And if he goes here, well then I will simply go here. So my knight also defends this square right. He goes there. Yeah, that makes sense. So this knight defends this rook. So I need to be aware of that. But I thought this might be a good option. Yeah, if this then I will simply step forward. So that doesn't do a whole lot. Um, so I'm not too worried about this pin at the moment. I think I should just offer trade here. Um, maybe g4 to protect this pawn. Maybe that's a good option. But then I'm also weakening my king's position a bit. Could also go here to bring the bishop a bit more in the game. What about this move though? To get these pawns rolling. He might want to go here. So yeah, let's keep this. Let's keep this weakness because now he cannot move here. So if I trade the rooks then... Okay, so let's make sure I get more pieces into the game. I was thinking about this move. Could also go here. Let's go here. Opening up room for the rook. This doesn't work. <clears throat> and I was thinking about a move like this. Takes this pawn falls. Yeah, he's quite cramped. And like I said, I don't want to allow this, but so far that's not possible. And I don't really want to allow this as well. Okay, well, this we just go forward. And yeah, would love to go here. This was not open yet, because he could have taken with the rook here, right? But yeah, as soon as I get this in, my position looks very promising. Maybe I should reroute my bishop to now support on this file. And his pawns look quite weak. He goes there. Trying to activate his queen. Still not an option. Um... How should I continue here? I think I should get my bishop over here. Let's do that. Okay, he goes for the sacrifice, which makes a lot of sense. But I have a check here. So I need to take now, right? Otherwise I lose my knight. So let's take and then activate my knight. I think this is a good move. It's definitely... Oh, well, but this is a simple fork. Forking the rook and the knight. So let's... Ah, wait. I wanted to take here, but this is also in the air. And then I will win the rook instead of just the knight. So it's even stronger. And he resigns. And let's check out the game analysis. I played with a 90% accuracy, like a 20-50. I'm very happy for that. Um, also, the bar goes up quite straightly. So that's good. Here, the queen's gambit. And the nims in defense. Like I said, I like this move. Looking for e4, and that's also what happened in the game. This move taken here was a bit premature. I don't think there was a need for it. So normally you could castle and then I will play a3. And then, yeah, so, and then take, which gives a tempo. 
Um, but now I simply win a tempo because in the end my opponent takes and I don't have to play a3. So I basically get a move extra now to get into this position. Well, otherwise he could have played d5 already on this move is if it's him to move with my pawn on a3. He could play d5 preventing me to get the center. So this is a very interesting and important thing to keep in mind. Here I simply develop my bishop. Yeah, c5 would have been a good move indeed. I was talking about this setup here d5. Yeah, simply takes, yes, he trades off the bishops, but look at these pawns, right? It's a nice pawn, so... Yeah, here I was doubting between these two moves, but the computer says this is also completely fine on f4. Yeah, which looks good, but here I thought maybe f6. Um, but bishop a3, rook here, queen f3, yeah. But this looks good for me, for sure. For sure, for sure. Maybe you can lock it up with f5 at some point. Well, not in this position, because I'm attacking this pawn, right? But maybe at some point. Okay, but maybe that's already unachievable for him. Okay, well, but this is also a good move. Um, as I like this as well. Yeah, I, like, that's what I said, right? I should have gone to e1. Because then I basically allow my bishop to re-enter the game via d2. So... Um, not yet, but at some point, I think bishop g2 is a d2 is a good move. A4 here would have been good already. But bishop g3 gives him a tempo and uh, uh, allows him to to trade off another piece of mine. F4. Yeah, I was contemplating about this actually with a move like this, maybe next. But um, yeah. He also gets some activity, and the main thing is that the c3 pawn is a bit weak. I like to just, you know, main, remain stable. And yeah, I think these moves are quite nice. Here already, queen f3 would have been an option. And uh, maybe takes. Takes. Yeah, the knight has to go. Knight f6 is the best move. Ooh, that's ugly. If that's already the best move in the position. Then, um, okay, that's just simply horrible. So far, so good. I win a pawn here. Yeah, I was thinking about moves like this. Then I would have gone here, of course, but... Alright. Um, the game goes on. Queen e4. But... That's not what happened. Yeah, here he goes back. And now this rook is very much uh, attacked. The knight has to protect it. And if it goes here, we'll simply go here. Yeah, so here you could trade the queens, but look at this, the bar goes down. As the rooks are now active, the knight will simply enter the game very soon. And he has some pressure on this pawn. I need to, to, to defend a bit, and my rooks are now completely misplaced. So, but when I keep the queen on the board, I keep pressure on this rook. This knight cannot develop now, and I can simply keep on developing my rooks and this queen is just the worst queen on the board the computer would have liked me to go here instead okay that's fair but i think this is just a very good position i was thinking about this but i thought what about this then uh sorry first go back but at some point the queen would go here this move um, but maybe i should just reroute the bishop here but he has some sort of blockade. It's not an ideal blockade with the queen blockading the pawns because you want your knights blockading the pawns. It's a middle game principle. Blockade past pawns with your knight, but okay. Um, bishop there takes takes yeah, and this was simply not working because of this check. Uh, this is actually also an option, but this was very straightforward, and I keep the piece. And now yeah, the rook has to move after this fork. And yeah, he resigns, which makes sense. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you tomorrow. Bye bye.